Hi everyone, this is Shumi. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to make a video that was inspired by this meme, which is internalized ableism bingo. Now, ableism is something that I deal with from other people, but I didn't realize until I filled this in how much I was inflicting it on myself as well. By the way, here's how my bingo looks like. It's pretty bad. I didn't expect it to be this bad, but it is actually this bad. And it would have been worse not wanting to say you're disabled, being like, oh, I'm not really disabled, not asking for help. They were all things that I used to do as well. So I fill this in and then I try to analyze it and divide all of these squares in the bingo into four categories that I think cover the four main ways that disabled people internalize ableism and apply it in ways that is not productive to them. So the first category that I wanted to talk about is self-doubt. And that can be expressed in various ways, but one of the most common ones is thinking Okay, but what if I'm thinking it? Thinking it, thinking it, thinking it, thinking it, thinking it. And the reason you would be faking it is supposedly just to get sympathy from other people or to get attention. This is such a common thing amongst disabled people, it's hilarious. And I have experienced that for sure. It was not <laughs> an easy ride for me. Uh, but I don't actually feel that way now as much as I did before. I think a lot of people who feel that way are undiagnosed or like self-diagnosed, which is a whole other subject. But basically, they don't know definitively why they're struggling. And sometimes if you are diagnosed, but you have health professionals or people around you who are not very understanding, then you can start feeling that way. I mean, my family still insists I'm not depressed and blah blah from time to time. They've gotten a bit better about it, but it's no wonder that so many of us feel that way because a lot of people just don't believe us. Sometimes even doctors won't believe you when you describe how you're feeling. And yeah, but I think a way to refute that to yourself is to think, well, yeah, but why would I be faking it? It could be if you're self-diagnosed. Yeah, it could be that you're wrong because you're not a professional. But usually, if you're self-diagnosing, it means that you are struggling with something. So whatever that something is, you might not know what it is yet. Uh, but it doesn't mean you're faking. Uh, your experience is valid, it's how you feel. And other people don't get to debate you on it. So do yourself a favor and stop debating yourself on it. <laughs> if you can. I know it's easier said than done. But to me it really helps to have supportive friends and people who have similar experiences who can tell me, no, sh no Shroomy, you're not faking. You're literally diagnosed. But now it's now I can say that. Before I wasn't diagnosed and I had to seek it out myself. So it was difficult. And, you know, I still get that a bit. For some things that I'm not diagnosed with, but suspect. Like, I suspect I might have joint hypermobility of some sort. Uh, I know a lot of people with EDS, Ellis Danlos Syndrome. As a scientist, I've analyzed it and came to the conclusion that mine is not that bad. But then again, I also thought that about my autism and depression and anxiety, like, oh, it's not that bad, so it's fine. Spoiler, it was not fine. So yeah, um, lots of people feel this way. If you do, then you're not alone. But I suspect that if you are asking yourself this question, then you probably are not faking it. So don't worry. And if you are able to, then try to get a diagnosis because it will help you in life. If you have the chance to, do, like, if healthcare is accessible, then go for it. And then, at least, if you feel again like you're faking it, then you can remind yourself that you literally have been diagnosed with it. So, uh, you know, doctors can make mistakes, but usually they're pretty qualified because, well, the doctors there to study for like 10 years. So, yeah. I hope this video has been helpful. 
and or informative and or fun to watch, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. This video is part of a series, so there will be at least three other videos for you to look forward to. And if you have had experience with this, whether it is internalized stabilism in general or this specific problem with self-doubt or feeling like you're faking, then let me know in the comments and let's have a conversation. This was Shreemi. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye!